Yokoso from Japan. How are y'all doing? So, uh, today was graduation, that's why I'm wearing the suit. Uh, you might recognize this as the Doctor Who suit. The <laughs> Lighting conditions do not seem very ideal. There it is. And I kind of shaved. I left a little bit of this because I never have. And sometimes you just gotta do what you've never done. You know what I mean? Uh, speaking of which, I took apart my iPod. But also speaking of which, I was thinking because uh, it was kind of like undoing a watch, you know, fixing a watch. And I was starting to think about the Silar character from that show Heroes. I like to watch Heroes. I think it's a really stupid show, but I like to watch it because A, I like comic books, and B, I like Japanese things, and there's all kinds of Japanese things in that show. It's great. It's like the most exposure the Japanese language has ever gotten on Prime TV. TV. I can safely say, I think. I was thinking, I would like to know what your superpower is. And, uh, um, I would like you to either tell me in the comments or a video response. Video response of a superpower would be awesome. I have a superpower, but I can't demonstrate it on screen. I can just tell you about it like a loser. So, I can sense when cop cars are around. This, uh, only really comes in handy when you're driving in America, because in Japan there's not that many police cruisers out. And if there are, their lights are on, so you see them coming from a million miles away. Their idea is to, pre to prevent crime rather than catch criminals, which I think is a lot better system, actually. Um, the rest of the legal system in Japan sucks, but the whole preventing crime by having the cops let their presence be known is great. There's no speed traps as far as I know. I could be wrong, but uh, they definitely do go around with their lights flashing, and it doesn't mean you gotta pull over, it means you gotta be aware there's a cop behind you. I'm not sure how you know when you're supposed to be pulled over, because it's never happened to me. But I've heard that um, people in my prefecture have gotten pulled over just because they were guidance, and the cops were like, well, you were guidance, so I pulled you over. So, um, oh, I got tomato soup. Um, ah, I forgot her screen name again, because it's so... Anyways, her name's Peggy. I, I can remember that, because that's my mom's name, too. Um, and she sent me a postcard of... Uh, British Columbia. So, she sent me freaking soup, and that is awesome, and I don't deserve it, to be quite frank with you. Um, especially, I saw I saw the postage, and if I would have known, I would have just said, no, this is one of the best gifts I've gotten in a long time. And it's tomato soup, but it's one of the best gifts I've ever gotten because of the time and expense and just thoughtfulness of sending this to me, a stranger, in Japan. So I will make my tangy noodle soup, and uh, I will enjoy it and I'll think of you and uh, I don't know, your current address has to be around here somewhere so I'll send you something, just a little thank you. Um, okay, so tell me what your superpowers are um, and oh, but let's get into the iPod thing. So I took apart my iPod. You want to see the guts of an iPod? Because um, it's broken and I was trying to fix it. You'll see what I discovered. <laughs> Okay, can I just point out, there's freaking black tape on the inside holding this thing together. And it's not cut pretty or anything. Was this put together by hand? I've been thinking though, it'd be very easy to combine my iPod and my Altoids wallet. So, there's the old error message, which was the problem before. Taking off the skin did nothing. Great, one just dropped. All right, right where my pointer finger is, that little thing is burned out. I discovered a burn on the back of, uh, where's the burn? Okay, that mark right there, that's a burn. So apparently the circuit board is the problem. Now, uh, the question is, do I buy a new circuit board? Or, do I just buy a new iPod? What do you think? 
I realized I got sidetracked a little bit by my soup at the beginning of the video, so I thought I'd tell you a little bit more about my superpower. Um, so I can sense when cops are coming. Usually when I'm driving, uh, I will feel somewhere in my forehead that a cop is ahead. Sometimes I feel it behind me. Uh, I know when a cop's coming, so I know when to slow down, usually. But this power is not dependable. And it's, uh, it like peaked, and now it's pretty low. And I don't know if it works anymore because I don't get enough opportunities to test it. But occasionally, people have seen it. I've been like, there's gonna be a cop coming up, and I was right. Um, so that's my superpower, and I don't think it's anything supernatural so much as my subconscious has figured out how cop cars work. Um, by which I mean their usual patterns and traffic patterns and uh, schedules, all that. My subconscious has noticed and it, it tells me, it's like, hey, the bad thing, the ticket's coming. So, alright, once again, tell me what your superpower is. Bring it.